by R.J. Anderson. Prepare to stuff the ballot box, folks. Here is everything you need to know about Wednesday's MLB action. Wednesday's scores Brewers close out May with another win so, the Brewers have had worse months. They closed out May with a win over the division rival Cardinals on Wednesday afternoon, improving their record to 19-7 for the month. The Brew Crew have the NL's best record at 36-20, the hero Wednesday was off-season pickup Christian Yelich, who drove in one run with a ground ball and another with a mammoth solo homer. Here is Yelich's seventh dinger of the season. Yelich went 2-for-5 in the game to raise his season betting line to .307, .372, .492. Fellow off-season pickup Lorenzo Cain went 1-for-4 with a walk Wednesday and is hitting .282, .390, .431 on the year. Those two have been dynamic atop the lineup. At 19-7, the Brewers just posted their winningest month since going 20-8 in April 2014. Here are the team's last five months with 19-plus wins. May 2018, 19-7 April 2014, 20-8 September 2012, 20-11 August 2011, 21-7 August 2008, 20-7 They still need another starting pitcher, but right now, the Brewers sure look like the class of the National League. Reyes returns, but exits early for the first time since September 29, 2016, top Cardinals prospect Alex Reyes took the mound in a Major League game Wednesday afternoon. He underwent Tommy John surgery last spring and spent the last 14 months rehabbing the injury. Reyes pitched well against the Red Hot Brewers in his return to the big leagues, allowing three hits and two walks in four scoreless innings. He struck out two and threw 73 pitches. Reyes was removed from the game because his velocity dipped, however. Check it out. Alex Reyes saw his velocity dip during Wednesday's start. Brooks baseball by the end of his outing, tracking systems were classifying Reyes' fastball as change-ups, which is never a good sign. Cardinals manager Mike Matheny smartly took the 23-year-old out of the game. And, thankfully, it appears everything is fine. Reyes feels good and no tests are scheduled at the moment. Alex Reyes said he feels fine and isn't sure why his velocity dipped in those middle innings. Team non-committal about whether he'll get further tests Mark Saxon at Marcus Saxon, May 30, 2018 Reyes was electric during his minor league rehab assignment, striking out 44 and 23 scoreless innings. He did get stretched out to 7 innings and 87 pitches, so it would appear his pitch count was not an issue Wednesday. That said, MLB pitches and minor league pitches are very different animals. Surely Rias had some adrenaline pumping early against the Brewers. He might have emptied the tank early and run out of gas in the middle innings. Either way, Reyes returned to the big leagues Wednesday and looked very good, even while his fastball velocity dipped in the middle innings. Could give the Cardinals a real nice shot in the arm the rest of the season. Kluber fans pen as Indians win fifth straight air the Indians finally getting hot. Well, maybe. Playing the White Sox has a way of making teams look good. The Indians blew the Shisox out for the fifth straight win Wednesday afternoon, they've outscored their opponents 43-25 in those five games, to improve their record to 29-25. Four games over .500 matches a season high for Cleveland. Corey Kluber started Wednesday's game and was marvelous, striking out 10 in six scoreless innings. He threw only 90 pitches as manager Terry Francona opted to give his ace a bit of a breather with a big lead. 
save those bullets for another day. You know, Kluber's been unreal over the last 12 months now. It's been basically one calendar year since Corey Kluber came off the DL to start last June 1st. Today, he made his 35th regular season start in that time. His numbers, 23-4 record 1.76 ERA 251 IP 164 H 312 SO 33 BB, Andrew Simon, at Andrew Simon MLB, May 30, 2018 With Wednesday's outing, Kluber jumped over a couple of Astros and into second place on the Al Era leaderboard. Justin Verlander, 1.11, leads the league and Kluber, 2.02, is now second. Not a bad follow-up to a Cy Young season, I'd say. Keichel, Severino square off the Astros and Yankees will conclude their latest series on Wednesday night, and they'll do so by giving us a quality pitching matchup, as Dallas Keichel will face Luis Severino. Keichel enters with a 3.39 era and 2.94 strikeout to walk ratio in 11 starts. His first outing against the Yankees this season saw him notch a quality start, as he allowed six hits and three runs across seven innings. Coincidentally, he lost that game to Severino. In that contest, Severino threw the first shutout of his career. He struck out ten and issued just one walk while permitting five hits. The Yankees would gladly take a repeat performance. Severino will enter with a 2.28 era and 4.05 strikeout to walk ratio over his first 11 starts. Quick hits which teams have gained and lost the most in postseason odds during May? NL teams are among the biggest gainers and losers during the season's second month. Indians LHP Andrew Miller has been cleared to resume throwing, reports MLB.com. He saw a specialist who confirmed the right knee inflammation diagnosis. There is no firm timetable for his return. Nationals of Adam Eaton will begin a minor league rehab assignment Friday, reports MLB.com. He is on the mend following ankle surgery. Eaton is not eligible to be activated off the 60-day DL until June 8. The Twins have placed a Byron Buxton on the 10-day DL with a fractured toe, the team announced. He initially fractured the toe in April and returned from the disabled list sooner than expected on May 10. Twins RHP Irvin Santana has been pulled off his rehab assignment with discomfort in his finger, the team announced. It's unclear when he'll be able to resume his rehab. Santana has not pitched this season after having off-season finger surgery. Athletics SS Marcus Semin has been placed on the paternity leave list the club announced. He's expected to return this weekend. RHP Josh Lucas has been called up in a corresponding move. The Rangers have activated LHP Matt Moore off the 10-day DL, the club announced. He'd been out roughly two weeks with knee discomfort. RHP Austin Bibbins Dirks was sent to AAA in a corresponding move. Twins manager Paul Molitor is hopeful 1B Joe Maurer can return this weekend, reports The Street. Paul Pioneer Press Maurer has been sidelined for several weeks with a concussion, though his recent rehab work has gone well. Rockies DHD DJ Lemayu is on track to rejoin the team Friday, reports The Athletic. He's been out two weeks with thumb and wrist injuries. Lemayu was able to take batting practice this week without discomfort. The Brewers recalled SS Orlando Archa after placing Iana Tyler Saladino on the disabled list, the team announced. Saladino suffered an ankle sprain when he stepped on second base awkwardly Tuesday, left team updates a Twitter list by Dane Perry keep up to date on the latest MLB power rankings, written by our experts.